I want to hear the drop, man. Boom. Like, oh, shit. More impact. More anticipation. It's like trying to get through, but it's so compressed. Hey, you guys. What's up? It's Slink here with another Feedback Friday video where we check out your songs and I give you some feedback, some thoughts about what I think is good or bad about the song, and hopefully you can improve your production based on my suggestions. So, let's get started. Hey again, Slink. Hope you're doing well. Here's a link to my track for feedback. All right, let's check it out. All right, it's good that you've got your um, social media linked here. That's, that's a good chat. Ask me zip. By the way, sorry about the audio from the last Feedback Friday video. I'll, hopefully I can get it a little bit nicer this time around. <laughs> Where's this gonna go? Big breakdown. Oh, okay, we've got a bit of a build up now. I think those little like snare rolls in the background are a bit too quiet. Let's keep listening though, see where this goes. I want to hear the drop, man. Okay. This is not a house song, dude. <laughs> this is like future bass, I think. The tempo is, is really slow. It's like... Like probably 70 BPM, double that would be 140. So I'd call it like a future bass or maybe a maybe a dubstep song. Probably not dubstep though. Future bass, definitely not house. House should be like, you know. And this is not this is not house at all. Where's the bass line? There's actually no bass line whatsoever. Um, and we're halfway through the track almost. Did you like have the bass line muted before you rendered the song or something? <laughs> I'm sure that was intentional to have no bass line, but kind of seems odd. I guess it's very twinkly and a lone walk up. Yeah, maybe you, you're going for that kind of vibe. Kind of ominous, I suppose. If you want to get more of that sort of vibe, I would add more reverb to the kicks and snares, the twinkly uh, synths that you've got going on and that kind of thing. They have like long tails and the kicks and snares are like right in your face with no with no reverb. And that sounds a bit odd to me. I think everything should have like a similar uh, reverb to give it like to give your song one space, put it all in a box and it's all in like one little space. Some things don't have reverb and other things do have reverb. It sounds a bit weird. This breakdown is pretty dramatic. It goes down to absolute silence. Maybe you need like some sound to carry this along to the next section. I mean, this is not a dance floor song, but if even if I was listening on the headphones, I'd be like, oh, that song's finished already. Like, <laughs> and then it would come back in. I'm like, oh, what? what? It's, it's a questionable tactic with your song, I would say. Like, listen to how much reverb that sound has. It's got a lot of reverb and then your kicks and snares have almost no reverb definitely the snare needs some reverb maybe not on the kick you can keep the kick kind of tight um, but definitely that snare should just be like Pah! i think the volume of the kicks and snares could come up a little bit more yeah i think a little <laughs> 
I think a little bit more side chain might, you know, help out a little bit. Isn't that surprising? <laughs> Especially for this f future bass kind of sound, like really overdo the sound, the side chain, like go nuts with the side chain. When I'm side chaining, I sometimes turn the threshold all the way down to infinity and then just have like a really tight release of like, say, 15 milliseconds. And um, it really cuts through the sound so that every time you kick and snare hit, everything just like cuts away and you get that big thump and big snap of the snare. Like when I say it needs more sidechain, I mean it needs a lot more sidechain. Turn that shit up to 11. Like look at this, I got a kick, a hi-hat and some chords. It sounds like this. Right, pretty lame. But on the sidechain um, channel here, which is muted, I've got a kick trigger, which is a tiny tiny slice of this uh louder sound it's a very loud sound a couple milliseconds long and all we need to do is drag in a compressor i'm going to use the live 8 compressor yeah i just hit the side chain channel and then trigger from the kick trigger you can use a snare trigger as well if you also have a snare in your track and listen to this and then just tweak the release time by the way, if you don't see this section, just click that arrow, yeah? And uh, if yours looks like a bit different, you know, there's the buttons down here you can change. Um, I like this view because you can really see what's happening. That's negative 34 dB. That's a lot of sidechain and um, for this kind of vibe, this kind of song, I think it sounds good. Um, you can also use the Live 9 compressor, which does sound a little bit different. I'll leave all the settings the same and just hit upgrade. And you can see this one's a little bit more transparent. And so you can bring this up a little. If you just want a subtle side chain and you just want to, um, you know, and we could probably turn the chords down a bit. You just want that kick to punch through a bit more. That's all you got to do. So sidechain, learn how to do it. <laughs>yeah, there isn't really much else to comment on here. It's it's um it's kind of just kick snare and those two sort of instru twinkly instruments. Um uh this might be like a work in progress or something, but I think like a droney sort of bassline like in like the bottom end might like give it some more some more vibe and again the the reverb on the snare uh, let's have a quick listen to the end i don't know why but this song kind of reminds me of harry potter <laughs> i have no idea why uh but anyway uh thanks for sending in your song not a bad go keep it up dude Let's try the next song. Okay, no message, straight to the point, let's go. Is this a mix? Okay, that was a mixtape. <laughs> Please don't send me mixtapes, send me original songs only. I'm not gonna review your mixtape. All right, next track. What the hell is this? <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna add you to LinkedIn. I don't even know how I still have a LinkedIn account. I think I signed up for that shit like a million years ago. All right, next song. Please be a song this time. Hey Slink, big fan of your channel, great music, great tutorials, great videos, thank you man. This is my submission, after watching your Feedback Friday videos for a few weeks now, I'm set on getting mine critiqued, even if I have to wait a few more weeks for that random chance. It's your lucky day bro. I've been producing for a few years now, but I feel like there's always something missing from my tracks and I'm, I'm not sure what it is. All of my friends that I show are more on the casual side of music and they say they like it, but I can tell from listening to my music, it falls short of the real deal. Can you help me figure out what's missing from this one? Yeah, that's kind of a problem. Like if you show your mates your song, they'll be like, oh yeah, that sounds sick, bro. But in reality, you know, they're just kind of being good friends or whatever. But don't worry, I'll tell you everything that's bad about your song. <laughs> Mid-tempo stuff. We've got some weeaboo action here in the title. <laughs> Let's check it out. Putting this up now because I'm unsure if it's finished or if I'm going to finish it. Is this, is this really quiet? I think it's very quiet. Looks like it gets louder though. What 
Oh, I went from zero to a hundred. Let's go with the drop. Here we go. Let me check the tempo on this. Yeah, it looks like it's 110 BPM, so mid-tempo is right, but it's kind of like this triplet uh, vibe, like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, instead of like the 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 kind of vibe, which is a bit interesting. Um, it's cool that you tried like a different sort of time signature. Let's keep listening though. I'm going to turn my volume up for this one. No air horns, I promise. Okay. Oh my God, that's too loud. Okay. Um, first impressions, like I can tell that the kick and snare are actually hitting pretty, pretty decently. And I can hear you've used a bit of side chain with the kick a little bit on the snare on your baseline. So the baseline is cutting out when the kick happens and actually the low end is sounding pretty decent. What's missing with this song? I, I get what you mean. Kind of sounds like you started writing a savant song and then sort of stopped before things started getting real crazy i don't know i think it's just kind of rolling along and not much is really happening uh there's like some melodies on top of the bass line but from like here to here it's just being the same bass line notes with a couple of like whaps here and there and then just some like twinkly synths on top There is a few parts I noticed during this section where the bass line is clashing or not quite working musically with the melodies on top. So maybe have a look at that. Like just there, I just heard a good example of, of that. Let's rewind. Like that part there. Like it sounds really dissonant and really, it's like too jazzy. Jazzy and not in a good way. <laughs> maybe a tone back on those like bung notes. Sometimes it's good to throw in like a wrong note here and there you know go easy on it that part's nice you kind of like resolve the melody there but the tension and the melody is a bit high there with all those dissonant uh wrong notes about here to here not too much change just a few melodies on top and there wasn't really any drastic changes there wasn't like any drum fills there wasn't any vocal samples no kind of different instruments that came in it was all synth based the bass line kept the same pattern basically all the way through basically all the way through for a six and a half minute song which is pretty long I feel like you could cut this whole section in half, cut the intro in half as well, and just take all the best bits and condense it down so that you're getting your point across in a more concise way, you know? It kind of just drags on a bit, you know? Like, how long is that? One minute. Two minutes of basically the same sort of deal. Melodically, it kind of changes, but if this was half as long, that'd be one minute. You could have a one minute section like that. The intro. Yeah, only needs to be 30 seconds. A one minute intro is extremely long, like 30 seconds or even half of that, 15 seconds. 
I, I would go with 30 seconds. Yeah, if you had 30 seconds there, then one minute here. Then instead of being at three minutes on this breakdown, you'd be at a minute and a half. You know, more things are happening uh, more, more often. And yeah, just condense your ideas down a bit. So we got a breakdown. What's going on with the bass line there in that section? That, that note sounds super weird. It's like you've got a sub, which is the correct note, and then an overtone, which is like a total different note that's not even in the scale. I mean, I should say I really like that you try to do a different sort of drop for the second drop. But yeah, that bass line is really weird. Yeah. All right, this part here is probably the most interesting section so far. Maybe you could do um, a minute of this um, and then go into that straight away and then break down. So combine this drop with this drop so that um, both of those combined is actually half the length, like one minute, then break down and then write a second drop that's completely different to both of these two parts. And then we're, now, now we're talking, you know, you know, more interesting things happening all the way through the song. You want the song to go somewhere, you know, not just melodically, but with different sounds, different instruments. Vocal sample maybe might work. I don't know. Yeah, some of those bass lines, um, those bass chops in there, you've processed them a lot. I, I applaud the sound design dedication there. I think you've gone a bit overboard with some effects and you're actually losing the note. And like those things are cool sometimes, so long as you just play a little short section of a really like weird sort of bass line and follow that up with like the right note or something solid that, you know, you can convey the correct note with. See this part here. I feel like that part could could be a pretty good intro actually. All right, all through the song there's no vocals and then right at the end there's a hey on the offbeat. <laughs> That's your voice, isn't it? Hey, Sweet Sunnies, by the way. That's sick. <laughs> what? I'm really curious about this part. What's going on there? What the heck? Thirty seconds of drum and bass, just for good measure. <laughs> I don't know. That's <laughs> just take that part out. I mean, that write a different song like that. You know, like like that was cool, but thirty seconds of drum and bass at the end of all of this. I think if you're gonna launch into drum and bass, have like like I was saying, cut that intro in half, cut this, cut that, combine those together into half the length, like one minute of this and this, and then break down, build up, and then go into drum and bass. And then do the rest of the song in drum and bass. Don't just do like 30 seconds at the end. Um, not too bad. Like you're definitely doing pretty good with the side chain. I can't really say 
too much bad stuff about the drums. They don't sound too bad. Let's have another listen, actually. They're not too bad. I actually, like, don't mind the drums. And the sub is pretty solid. Um, keep it up, man. Hopefully, like, some other stuff that I kind of rambled off before helps you out. I can't really remember what I said, but keep up the good work, man. I think um, you're definitely getting there. And don't listen to your friends, they're f***ing liars. <laughs> Alright, let's do another song here. Hey man, I just started watching your videos three months ago. I really like them. You cool. This is one of the tracks I've been working on. Please let me know what you think. Hope you like it. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Mario. Alright, let's check it out. <laughs> well, this is obviously the wrong link. Alright, next track. Yo, Slink, first track I've uploaded in a while. I'd really appreciate your feedback. Thanks and keep making bomb content. I will, bro. Your boy, Merlin Soyoshi. Soy, Soyoshi. Merlin's, Merlin's Yoshi. Merlin's Yoshi? I don't know. <laughs> maybe we'll hear a Yoshi sample in here. Oh yeah, maybe we will. Merlin's Yoshi. I think I had it right. <laughs> okay, trap song. Chill, chillish. I don't know. Music. What? Dope. You. Think. for the drop here. Are we still building up? Yep. Okay, I was a bit confused there with that build up because it, it sounded like we dropped already, but then it keep building up. Maybe keep the baseline out so that when it drops, like hold things back. And then when you deliver them finally after some anticipation, they have more impact. Um, but I wasn't like, boom, like, oh shit, with that uh, drop because I already heard the baseline and then I heard it again there. And I was like, oh, well, that's what I just heard in the buildup. So I think the kick is sounding really good in this track, actually. The sub is pretty, pretty decent as well. I think you've got enough side chain in there, but I'll just, you know, go a little bit more just in case. Let's keep listening. I think like musically, this track might be a little bit, might be having a little bit of trouble identifying itself. Chill. Is it really that chill? You're using like a really weird time signature actually with the with the chord progression. So let's like count it here. Two, three, one, two, three, two, three. Yeah, so it's like kind of like a one, two, three sort of chord progression, and I don't know, it's sort of it's it's not bad actually. Like I kind of like that. I guess it was kind of confusing me in the beginning. It sounds like the song is like rushing or something. Definitely interesting. I like I like the fact that you're trying something different like that. Most people would like let that third chord like roll for twice as long to like make it a, a four beat or bar or whatever sort of phrase, and then repeat that phrase. But you're just like screw it, three, you know. <laughs> Three, and then it's repeating. Three, three, three. I, I tell you right now that DJs are going to hate trying to play this song because most songs are written, you know, with that four, four sort of pattern and phrasing. So if a DJ got his hands on this track, they'd just be like, man, this is a real bitch to mix out.
Let's break down. Let's build up again. Place your bets. We're going to have the same drop or a different drop. Pause the video and then, <laughs> I don't know, let's listen to it. You know what? You don't need this part here. Just delete that. Just go straight into the build up. You're just adding length to your song un unnecessarily. And it kind of like, again, makes makes me feel like, oh, did we just drop there? Or are we, you know, like, just take that out. You'll have more anticipation up into this drop here. But let's keep listening. Let's hear the drop. Same thing as the beginning. Okay. Well, I'm not listening to the rest of that track because I know it's going to be exactly the same. I think you've done a pretty good job like with the mix down and everything like that. I guess some different instruments. You've got like xylophone or glockenspiel sort of sounds and then some synthy like wah, 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 nah, nah, nah. it needs like some kind of different texture. I guess a texture is a good way to put it. Everything is, um, you know, silky and electronic, I guess. Maybe throw a different texture in there, like something gritty and kind of rustic, maybe. I don't know like a an actual instrument like a guitar or some kind of horn like i know a lot of trap music does that like low sax or horn sort of wah kind of sound think about other trap songs and, and think about like the kind of things that they might use to add texture to their songs but yeah really interesting with that sort of three instead of four phrasing i think it sounds cool take this part out dude you don't need that. And then fix this build up, like take the bass line out of the build up so that when the bass line comes in on the drop, more impact, more anticipation and do something different with the second drop, dude. But keep up the good work. All right. Next song. Hey, happy new year and good listening. All right. Thank you. Happy new year to you. This is a remix. I can't do a remix. Sorry, dude. Nice try though. Love all your videos on YouTube. Your production tips are all very helpful. I hope you can give my track a listen and give me some feedback on what I can do to improve my production. Here is a house track I made. I hope you like it. All right. Thanks for your uh, compliments there. Frenzy, grit, great, grot. Who knows? <laughs> Let's listen to it. Oh, I like these chords. These are nice. French house, dance, electro, filter, filter. All right, let's see where this goes. This guy's got some good advice right here. Make some original songs. I'm loving this chord progression. Let's keep going. Please be good. Please be good. Mix down. Little bit weak on the mix down. Those chords though. Did you like sample them or did you write them yourself? Because that, that's a great progression. So happy. So summery. So much. So many feels. Something's super wrong, like like with the mix down. It sounds like it's like compressed super hard, or like when that crash symbol comes in, it's just like like it's getting distorted super hard. Listen to this. It's like it's like trying to get through, but it's so compressed you can't even hear it properly. <laughs> Definitely need some work on this mix down. Yeah, I don't even know where to start. It's it's pretty bad. I think you got some side chain in there, so that's a good that's a good start.
Oh, this is cool. Yeah, some little chops there. Pretty cool, but not heaps cool. Uh, those chops sound a little lazy. Get in there and really put in some sweet detail, you know, really slave over that that chopped up loop until it just feels like interesting all the way through, you know? I guess like the overall like sound of this song is kind of like really muddy. Like it doesn't sound clear and vibrant. It sounds like I'm listening to it through a telephone or something. I feel like there's nothing happening above say 500 hertz. It's just the hi-hats and the, and the crash symbol just trying to get through there. <laughs> it just doesn't sound clear or yeah, vibrant and stuff. Yeah, that, that chop section is an exact copy paste from just here earlier. Maybe change it up the second time or a section, say, this long, right? That is like no chops, just like exactly as you had that. And then a section the same length that's all chops. And then break down and build up and then, you know, something else. Let's keep listening. It sounds like the beginning again. That's cool though. It's a house song. Yeah, what you should do is open up this project, drag in Matt Zoe's Get Up to Get Down song which is amazing. It's probably the vibe that you're going for with this song. And listen to how clear it is. Listen to how vibrant it is versus your song. Have that song in there as a reference track and, and aim for that. Uh, the structure of that song is really nice. It keeps things interesting, but kind of keeps the groove rolling. It's like the best kind of disco-y house song that I've heard in a long time. Let's keep listening. That sound was real loud. <laughs> this song sounds like it's really quiet, but also super compressed. It's super weird. And then more of the same stuff. Yeah, so hopefully those tips can help you out. Thanks for sending your song in. I really appreciate it. Do we have time for one more? We might be going over time already, but... Fuck it. <laughs> I'd like to add you on LinkedIn. What the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> All right, screw it. That's the last song. Make sure you come check out my Facebook group. I'll put a link in the description. And I think it would be really cool if, if some of you guys that are beginners submitting your songs to Feedback Friday, I think it'd be great if you guys sort of connected on my Facebook group and maybe tried to collaborate with one another. Because I feel like some of you are really good at, say, musical theory. And then there'll be another dude who's like terrible at musical theory, but like knows how to make a kick and snare punch and like can design a good bass line. You guys should work together, man. Like I think you can learn a lot from collaborating with people. I collaborate with anyone and everyone all the time and it's, I learn a lot every time. Join my Facebook group, connect with each other, have a kick-ass weekend. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>